Welcome to the Elevate Everyday Podcast. I'm your host, Cade Junkerth, and I own Fitness Junkie Training, uh, where we help busy men get in the best shape of their life while working smarter, not harder. And today I'm joined by an awesome guest. I'm humbled to be in his presence. This this man is inspiring. Um, He was a Muay Thai fighter, and he suffered a terrible accident, lost both of his legs, and the the fact that he just has the the attitude that he has and the mindset and the drive to get back to fighting, which he does, and we're going to talk about that, um, is just super inspirational. And I know you guys are going to get a lot of value out of this conversation. So first and foremost, John Esposito, thank you so much for being on the podcast, my man. Um, and, I, and I appreciate you, sir. So thank you. No, thank you for having me. Yeah, no, it's a pleasure. The pleasure is mine, honestly. Awesome, awesome brother. So um, like I said, you know, unfortunately, John – uh, went through a terrible accident a couple years ago, um, and we we were connecting on it. He was telling me a story, but John, would you mind just you know taking us back to that day? Um, and just for the listeners, just let us know what happened to you, brother. Yeah, no problem. Um, so yeah, it's just a normal. Of course, it's a Monday, you know. what I'm saying regular day. Um, I go to work, and uh, I did I did uh, road construction, and um, we were on the side of the road filling in pot, like potholes, and pretty much it was like the end of the day. Uh, we were about to like, we were pretty much like almost done. Uh, we were kind of kind of like cleaning up a little bit, and um, a car came around the corner, um, and I was right next to the. Re- it's called the reclaimer. It's uh, essentially it's just a hot box. It's what you keep the asphalt in to keep it warm and hot. Um, so I was right next to the machine, and on the, like that on that machine that has like sharp edges. So when the car hit me into the machine, uh, the amputation, uh, the amputation happened right there. Wow. And, um, yeah, like luckily the, you know, response times from like, you know, EMS to police and every, everyone just did their part and, uh, they got there in time and, uh, medevac me to the hospital and yeah. I luckily made it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And, and we were talking about it, man. It's like just hearing what happened to you. Like it, it shocks me that, that you were even able to, you know, uh, that happened to you and like, not bleed out like did they tell you like was that a testament to you being an athlete like and being in shape like did they say anything that that, that contributed to to like living through that experience like did, did yeah uh i mean they didn't they didn't tell they didn't say anything to me um but uh i'm kind of just making a strong assumption that that's that played a big role and yeah. why you know i made it yeah. Um, you know, I mean, there's like other factors too. Like I said, like the response times and stuff like that were like on point luckily that day. Um, but, um, yeah, no, I mean, me being in as good a shape as I was at that time, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, that definitely helped. I would say, yeah. yeah, it's a miracle, man. It's amazing. Uh, man, it's, it's awesome that you're here with me right now, man. That's, it feels, it feels awesome. But, um, like, you know, what, what's driving you? Cause I know there there's a lot of people who who have lost limbs um, and they're just, you know, in, in a depression or they just, they, you know, they're, they're super down about the whole situation. And you seem, man, to be honest, like you're, you're all smiles. You're got a good attitude. Like what, what, what do you think is, is maybe different with your mindset or your attitude or what do you feel like is, is driving you and, and keeping you in a good headspace and, um, like, like, what are you feeling grateful for? Like what, what's driving you and what keeps you, um, you know, moving forward and, and just feeling good about life and everything? Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's central. Like, I just, I just really still like, I want to live, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, yeah. I know that I have a life that I could still like, you know, life that I could, that's worth living. Um, and, you know, unfortunately sometimes like, you know, uh, other like amputees, that um, especially like amputees that like recently just became amputees, you know, like your your whole world comes crashing down. You're just like, you know, you're kind of just like in a shock. You're like, what the fuck am I gonna do? And you know, like it's it's a dangerous stage because um, unfortunately there is a lot of suicide with uh, people who become amputees because they just don't they don't think they can have a life worth living. Um, and that's the furthest thing from the truth. But the thing is, is that like they have to step back and like realize that they have to see that for themselves um and you know there's people out there though that are like that are good people that are trying to like uh talk to these people and get them to see like yo like it's not over 
Um, right. And especially with like the advancement of technology, like, like you, <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like you could think every, like every, every negative thought you want to think, but like, it's possible though. You know what I'm saying? Like 100%. whatever you're thinking that you can't do it, like it's possible because uh, it's just, the, like I said, the technology advancement has been so like, especially since, uh, especially actually since 9-11, uh, like over here, like since 9-11, because um, the prosthetics actually that I have, um, they were actually made to get people from the military back up and on their feet. Um, so they're like military grade. And you know what I'm saying like, so whatever you think of like that you can't do, I mean, I promise you that you can. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, and it's it's just a testament to like, you're, you're seeking out like the positives and the wins. Whereas like, you know, people maybe even not even, you know, in a situation like this, but just maybe they're going through something tough. A lot of people, they're seeking out the negative, right? And I feel like that that can cause them to to get in that negative headspace. And it's inspiring to see that, like, yeah, it, this is just a testament to when you're seeking out the positives. Like, if you're looking at how can I still win? Like, what what is the upside here? Like, it's so powerful what your mind can do um, to to help you keep moving forward and like show you that there's a you know there's a bright future ahead no mm. matter what's going on. So um, yeah, yeah. That's all. Sure. And and I think uh, I saw in one of your interviews and I, I think you even said it to me, but like your third question in the hospital was, uh, so am I not gonna be able to fight again? <laughs> so you were, you were immediately like, no, like I want, what's like, what's the next step? Like you're already looking forward to like, I want to get back in the ring and stuff like that. Where, where do you think that's coming from? Like, you just have such a passion, like what, what's, what's driving you to get back in there and keep competing? Um, I mean, even like even when I was I'm gonna be honest with you, even when I was fighting, it wasn't like I like uh I mean I lived the fight life, but like it's not like I was like um thinking like 24-7 just about fighting. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not like as like uh like there's some people who are like it's almost like you know, you look at them and they're like, yo, that's it's unhealthy, it seems like, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like their passion is so strong. And like I'm not like one of those. Um, I love fighting though. Don't get me wrong. I love Muay Thai. And I think what really like what it was, what it is, and what it was is that um because it's something that I it's something that is a big part of my life. And you know, I just I just found like I just found the love of it again uh recently, like well not like recently, but like a couple a couple years ago. Um I found like the love for it again because uh I like kind of stopped fighting for a while. I, I just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. it was in like the headspace. And I just knew that it was like, if I kept on going, like it was going to be bad for me. And this is not a sport where you can just, you can't, you can't just do that. You know, like you're going to get hurt. Right. Um, so, you know, I stepped back and uh, I, I was still training, but like not, I wasn't going six days a week, you know, twice a day, you know, I wasn't like, like that. Uh, it was just, you know, maybe like two, three times a week uh sometimes once you know like depending on how i felt that week and uh it really you know i got my spark back because um one of my old teammates came to the gym i was sparring at and uh, his name is malcolm hill um and he he kind of just i don't know just, we were talking and then like i kind of like i just wanted to see i was like maybe i can still do this i don't know like i want to kind of see and then uh I did it. And then, you know, I like, you find out, oh, you can still do this. And like, I found my love for it again, though. And I was just like, yo, like, I miss this. I miss this, like, excitement, the, like, adrenaline, the feeling, just everything, you know, like, the, yeah. everything coming together. Just, um, so I was actually, um, so I did my first fight back from like a four year hiatus. And then I, uh, I was going to actually have my second fight coming up. And then the accident happened. And, um, you know, I wasn't like, I wasn't necessarily trying to do anything like too big though. Like with the sport, I was just like, I wanted to kind of get back into it, just find my love for it again and just see kind of where it took me. Um, but it's just kind of like, the, I like, I still want it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still want that feeling back. I want to still be able to do it. You know, I, um, cause it's fun. It's fun for me. You know, I love it. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And I think that's, that's something that I think everyone needs to find is like, you know, this is something physical that you actually enjoy. So that keeps you wanting to come back, keep, keep you going and everything. It's like, yeah, if people can find that, that physical activity that they actually enjoy, you know, it's kind of more of like a, almost a recreational type of thing, then, then it, obviously like nothing's going to stop you from, from getting back to that. So 
that's awesome man that's yeah. awesome no, I kind of like uh, not to you know keep it going, but like it kind of ties into though like uh, what I was like saying about like you know people have to realize that like like what what do they want to live for? Yeah, you know what I'm saying like and like you know like I, well my situation as it is you know what I'm saying like believe me it's like I you know it's bad and like you know what I'm saying like I can make I can make the situation miserable you know as miserable as I want it to be right but. Like I'm not gonna get anything out of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. yeah, I want to be happy. So like that's and then like that's what I try to tell people that like when I speak to people who are like new amputees and stuff like that, it's like, like you don't like why do you want to be miserable? You know what I'm saying? Like, gosh, man, that, that's so powerful right there. Yeah, I think I think people don't realize it really is a choice, and I think a lot of people don't realize that they're choosing to to play a victim um, and and be miserable. Like you said, it's like no, like you can choose to be happy, and you can choose to seek out the wins and the positives. Like you're saying, man, that that's super powerful. And I'm I'm really I'm really glad that you said that. So yeah. that that's super inspirational and powerful that you said that, man. Um, yeah, and you know what, cause you said you've even spoke, spoken to some of these individuals, um, you know, newly, uh, amputees and stuff like that. Uh, and you were saying there's, there's people out there like helping people like that, but you know, maybe even not even amputees, but maybe people just going through tough times. Like, what would you say to someone who's really struggling right now, you know, feel like they're just in a rut, they, you know, they just feel like they can't dig themselves out of a hole. Like, what, what would you say to someone like that? Um, I mean, I'm the first thing I would say is like, you know, keep pushing because like you got like you got to fight for hope. You know what I'm saying? Like hope that like, oh, yeah, like whatever situation that you're in, like you're right. It doesn't have to be amputees. I just I use that because that's my situation right now. You know, like no, for whatever. sure. But um, it, it could be anything, though. Like um, it doesn't it doesn't particularly retain the net. But um, just keep on pushing because, you know, you have to have hope that one day that like things are going to get better and you have to learn from your mistakes. Like if you're attacking, like, like you're, you have a goal and you're attacking it, but it's not working out. Like, you know, I, I see a lot of people like attacking it the same way over and over and over again. It's like, it's not going to change. You know what I'm saying? Like, or it's very, it's very unlikely. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you have to switch it up, you know, like you have to take a step back, like, damn, like recalculate, like, what can I do different to, you know, change up like, you know, anything like weight loss goals or anything like that. Yeah. Um, so just keep on pushing, uh, keep on, you know, striving to, to be better. You know what I'm saying? Like every day, like, uh, yeah. and I know that's like a lot, you know, it's very easier said than done. Um, and you know, like a lot of people have like their, you know, everyday mental battles and they're going through it. But like, the point is, it's like, try to do the best you can every day. Um, and even that, that's like, you didn't do anything that day, like, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes, like, shit, like, you know, sorry. <laughs> uh, stuff like that happens, but, um, keep, you know, next day, like, you have another day. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, that's a beautiful part about life. It's, like, it, it, it's beautiful. It, like, it's what you want, you know, you make it out to be. It's, like, it could be mu uh, beautiful or it could be misery because it's, like, you have another day to make that change. But you also have another day if you choose to be miserable, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to be miserable. So you have to you have to be that change, you know? Right. Yeah, there's there's a few things in there that I really like that I wanted to to go back to. For one, you said like you can't just keep, you know, if something's not working out, don't just keep beating your head against the wall, right? It's like make those adjustments. And so I think a big thing um from what you said is like, yeah, you need to learn to be ad adaptable. You need to learn to adapt you know, maybe your situation isn't the way you want. You got, you got to adapt something to, to help yourself move forward. Right. So that, that was one thing that I liked that you said. Um, and then, and then you said like, you know, striving for that progress. Cause you know, no matter where you're at, like just getting that little bit better um, because I think even Tony Robbins talks about it, but like progress equals happiness, like that, mm -hmm. that's going to help. Like no matter where you're at, maybe you're not where you want to be, but if you're getting a little bit better from day to day, then that that's going to help you feel good and feel fulfilled. Right. So like, yeah. you know, you know, you, you're not like where you were before the accident. Right. But you're making steps to get better and better every day. So I think that's a big reason why like you feel good and you're feeling fulfilled, like you're making progress and that's, that's, that's the important thing. So no matter like if you're not exactly where you want to be, but you're doing what you can do and controlling the controllables to get better each day, then, then that's going to help you keep moving forward. So for sure. Yeah, no. Nah.
Totally. Yeah. And, and like you said, just, man, that's why the, that's why the podcast is called elevate every day. Right. So it's like, <laughs> it's getting that 1% better every day. I'm all for it. So hundred percent relate to that. And that's awesome, man. So I appreciate yeah. you saying that. Um, but yeah, so, you know, th- there's people that have low motivation and every excuse in the book, you know, not to exercise and, and not to strive for better. You know, mm-hmm. there, there's people I've, I've just come across them just online and stuff like that. They're just like, you know, I'll try to have a fitness conversation and they'll just come up with every excuse. You know, what, what would you say to someone like that? Or like, how, how would you get someone out of that mindset of like, you know, um, there really is no excuse. Like you can, you can strive for better. Like you said, like it may not happen every day, but if you're striving for it, like, you know, you just have to be in the right mindset to do that. So what, what would you just say to someone like that? Who's just given every excuse in the book and they're just, you know, just, just not wanting to to make that mindset shift. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess I would say is that like, um, you know, I, I would try to, I would try to relate to them. You know, um, I would try to like, cause you know, even sometimes like I catch myself where I'm like, like, oh, like I, you know, I, like I can't do this cause of that, you know what I'm saying? Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like we, I think we all do, you know, like to some extent. And it's not like, like you said, like, not just like about working out, not just about like, you know, it, it could be about anything. Uh, but um, I would try to relate to them and be like, and try to be real with them. Like, yo, like I've done it too. Um, I get I get where you're coming from, but, you know, let me show you the, let me show you the other side of the the coin. You know what I'm saying? Like the other point of view, um, because, you know, most of the time when people get in that like mindset, like they don't, they're very like, uh, they like to fight you, you know, like they, they like to, they like to fight you. And like, you know, you said like give every excuse in the book and like, but when like you put like the facts in front of them, like, listen, like, you still could have done it though. You know, like, like you still, like, I understand like, Oh, like maybe you didn't. Okay. Maybe you didn't get that much sleep last night or like, maybe you didn't like, yeah. you weren't like, you didn't eat, like you didn't eat enough or like something like throughout the day or whatever, but like you still could have done something. Maybe you like, you know, you didn't have to go to the, to the gym for like, you know, an hour and a half or something like that or two hours, but like you could have done like a 15 minute, 30 minute workout. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. could have fit that throughout the, you know, throughout your day, yeah. but you didn't. And not to say that, like, there's not particularly anything wrong with that. It's just that, like, if you have goals, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, they're the ones that are, you know, like, it's not like, like, if I was like a personal trainer or something like that, you know, like, at the end of the day, like, it's not my goals. Right. <laughs> you know, it's your goals. It's like, yeah. I want, you know, I want to try to help you. Um, but you have to help yourself though too. Yeah. You know, it's like that whole like old saying, like you could bring the horse to water, but you can't make them drink it. It's like, yeah, you have to, you know, you have to reach down and drink the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to have you on my on my calls with my clients. <laughs> I need to talk to them. But yeah. No, man, I yeah, it's, I, I totally agree. Yeah. And it's it's it is, you know, sometimes people will just they'll be combative almost if you go at it a certain way. But yeah, I think if like you said, if you go at it you know, empathetic and you, you say, because we've all been there before, right? Like you said, you know, I, there's still time. I'm not perfect. Even though I'm a coach, I, I've got slip ups all the time. I, mm-hmm. I feel like I had maybe one or two, too many cheat meals this past week, even, <laughs> um, you know, but it's like, you know, that stuff happens and it's just about, um, you know, kind of realizing it, uh, but just, you know, being reflective and, and just trying to seek out those wins, like you said, and trying to stay positive um, and trying to, to realize that, yeah, the other side is better, right? Like, cause like you said, um, you know, let me just try to show you what it feels like on the other side or like, you know, just when you, when you shift your mindset to the, to the positive end of things, how much better you actually think and feel. Uh, cause I think a lot of people are just stuck in kind of that echo chamber of negativity. Um, and yeah, let's like, you know, we've all been there um, and, it, and it happens and it's not like we're perfect. It's probably going to happen multiple times. Like, but it's just about reminding yourself of, of how much better life is when, mm-hmm. when you're on the more positive end of things. Right. Like you said, so that's, that's awesome. I like what you said there, I, I, t- I totally agree with, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like it, so like sometimes like, you know, even like uh, when people like lose weight or like, you know, they have like weight loss goals and stuff like that. And like, maybe like, uh, you know, a couple of years down the line, like some of it starts to come back, you know, it's like, it's a never, it's a never ending battle. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like 
to gain some of that weight back. But it's like, like you said, it's it gets about realizing it and not letting that turn in like those ab- old habits to turn back into old habits and fixing it when you see it. And yeah. that's like the big thing. It's like, I'm not like trying to like, uh, like downgrade humans was like, you know, we're human and you know, stuff happens sometimes, you know, life happens and you get distracted and sometimes yeah. you just, you know, you stop being like as motivated as you once were and like, whatever, whatever your situation is, it's like, and yeah, like, okay. Like you look in the mirror, like one day and you're like, damn, like what happened to me? You know, like, like where did, where did things like turn? Where did I go wrong? Whatever. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like, it's a constant, it's a constant battle throughout your life that like, you just have to like, all right, like I know what I need to do. Yeah. You know, you have to saddle, you know, like saddle up, like get back on the horse and go drink that water. <laughs> you know, like yeah, a hundred percent, man. Yeah, it, and it's uh I was actually just talking about this with some of my clients recently because we do like group coaching calls, and literally the worst thing that you can do, like I, I wish I could just instill this this realization in everyone but it's like the worst thing that you can do is just say screw it and like get discouraged when these slip ups happen uh because because it's like i don't know what happens but people slip up and they 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 go all right screw it i slipped up now now i'm off program it just snowballs into this like i think they're done they're like yeah (laughs) but that's that's literally the worst thing you can do uh, when when these slip ups happen, you just got to realize like, okay, these things happen. Let me dial it back in. Let that motivate you to be like, all right, now I'm kind of motivated to to get back on my routine. Like, let that be a trigger to be like, okay, now I slipped up a little bit. I had my fun, um, but let's let's get right back on the horse, like you said. And it's, uh, yeah, I I just wish people could realize, you know, that that mindset of like, okay, I felt I fell off, I slipped a little bit, so just screw it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's the only bad thing that can happen out of that really so so yeah it's it's funny how people's minds work (laughs) yeah yeah no it's like everybody's just like so different how they process everything and just uh they're at different like even stages in life and stuff like that to even like you know recognize that that you know like especially like younger people like they don't even like realize like you know like like oh like you said like i just start like i just start again like oh like yeah Yeah. you don't have to like stay in that like you, you know if you like if you failed quote unquote fail like not really failed but like you know what i'm saying like like oh like that's it like i have to get off my plan like uh like there's no point anymore and it's like right oh, that's not true <laughs> yeah and I, I think i think maybe sometimes that comes from people like just wanting to get to the outcome super fast um and just when you realize that this is a, a literally a lifelong game then it just kind of puts things in that different perspective like you're saying so yeah that's what i tell the people that are on like fad diets and stuff like that and i'm just like uh it, it, like the first thing I said, I'm like, do you think that you could, you know, sustain that for the rest of your life? Right. And, you know, a lot of people will be like, I feel like they'll lie to themselves, you know, be like, oh yeah, like I, and I'm like, okay, let me know how it works. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> so how old are you, by the way? I don't think I asked you that. How- I'm 32. 32. Okay. So yeah, you're, you're pretty young, just a little bit older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and well where um you know when when you think about your future your your personal future john like um who best embodies where you want to be like if you have any, any role models like let's say 10 years from now like picturing yourself like um who do you kind of look up to and what who's pushing you to 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 try to sh- strive to be more like do you have a certain individual that you can think of or like you know where you want to be in 10 years um is there someone you're um, like kind of model yourself after or anything like that yeah um i don't like there's no uh like specific individual i would say um it's more like i have an idea of the person like i want to be um you know like and that like you know i try to be today and then like hopefully you know continue to be and like even you know be even better than i am today um yeah. but uh it's kind of like that, like, it's not like a person, but it's just like a, like an idea, you know what I'm saying? Like a, like a vision, like a vision. Yeah. Um, that like, you know, I would like to see for myself, um, that, you know, I'm kind of like, like working towards, um, you know, that I would, you know, I definitely would like to, you know, be eventually. So, yeah. um, 
but yeah no i mean but there is like it's not that there's no like inspirational people around me or anything like that it's just that like uh i it's like i'm like i'm i I think about stuff like that like in a different way i feel like where it's like um i don't look at a per like because i'm not them you know what i'm saying like i'm me yeah and i like me and i want to stay in me so like i don't want to be them you know what i'm saying so like i just have like that like vision of myself and i'm just like that's where i would like to see you know like yeah so we're what does that look like for you? Where, where do you see yourself? What's that? Just kind of paint that vision for me. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, I was, you know, I'd like to be like one of the people that like go to, you know, I think I talked to you about this one last time we talked, but like go to different hospitals, um, talk to people who are like new amputees and like kind of just help people through the process um, in that sort of way. And then, um, you know, just really try to be like a, it's like, corny and cliche is it like a beacon of like light for people yeah. who are in that dark place because like uh you know i've personally been there and like i've had to crawl I'd, i've had to personally crawl out of it myself so like i understand how hard it can be and like i mean i was fortunate enough to like have the mindset that i do and like to be able to handle this situation as well as i have like i was very fortunate and i understand like but i also understand that like not everybody has that mindset that, you know, like me and you are discussing, like, we don't, like, not everybody has that mindset. So uh, I would like to try to help those people uh, because, um, you know, it's a shitty place to be in uh, or it's a bad place to be in. Um, so, you know, I would like to be kind of like doing that. And then, uh, you know, just like that, like older, wiser person, that, you know, like kind of just like, says stuff to like you know like kids and be like the kids are like uh he's just old you know like <laughs> you know i like to, i like to be that guy and then like years later when they kind of grow up they're like oh like i see what he was saying oh like oh man like that's crazy like, <laughs> <laughs> just having words of wisdom for people and inspiration that's cool man yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah and i think uh so i don't remember where i got this from but I heard this somewhere where like you're in the best position to help someone um, when you're helping yourself like two years ago. Like that's just something I've heard. Like, you know, thinking about you two years ago, where you were at, um, mm. you're, you're in the best position to help that person. So if you can like, like you said, help other people that are in that situation, situation that you were in, that's a, that's a super powerful position to be in. You're able to help a lot of lives doing yeah. that. So that's awesome, man. Yeah. That's, that's a great vision to have. What about with uh with fighting? What's what's your your vision? Get back in the in the ring and everything. Yeah, no, I mean, I definitely want to, um, you know, whether um, because I'm, you know, eventually I do want to get into the boxing with the uh, the prosthetics and yeah. standing up. Okay. Um, that's been like, it's a lot. It's a lot harder than what I thought it was gonna be. Um, uh, because like the stability issues and stuff like that. Um, so like right now, that's just like not not in the cards i'm hoping that like eventually like a few years down the road though like i uh, you know it will be uh for me uh once i get a little bit more stabilized but like even like wheelchair boxing uh you know yeah. i've been uh kind of like looking into that a little bit and wanting to do that um but as long as i can get into uh any sort of any sort of boxing really i don't like care like yeah. sitting standing like whatever it doesn't matter yeah. to me like yeah uh, it's just like i want to feel that like that rush again you know like that feeling that uh it just you know you get hungry and it makes you want to keep on coming back and sure. uh i miss that feeling so yeah 100 percent. what what's the next step um with with doing that like because because you said you know it's a far maybe a little bit more far off than you expected standing up boxing but what, what's the next step for the maybe the wheelchair boxing um i mean as far as like what i know and what i've seen um they kind of just take the wheelchairs and like lock them into place and you kind of just you're in the pocket brawling out like the, oh, dang. <laughs> the whole time but like so there's not really much like yeah. steps for that you know you kind of just like i mean steps as well, like i would have to like get back to training like you know like because i take you know i take fighting seriously yeah um so like i would have to get back to training like six days a week and you know like stuff like that so you know stuff that i'm not really doing like so much right now um but uh yeah, like that would be the step, you know, like um, get back to training like that, um, take a fight and uh, yeah. Nice. 
Nice, man. I'm, I'm excited to see that. Well, you'll have to share share your first fight with me when you get that recorded and everything. Yeah, uh, for sure, bro. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, what, what's the next step for you with your vision as far as, you know, helping others uh, who are in your position, you know, where you were at, um, and just kind of helping people's mindsets, stuff like that. What's what's the next step for that? To- yeah. Um, well, so right now, uh, like, I would, I, you know, I want to get back to therapy first. Uh, I want to get I want to get better at like, you know, walking and everything and like, well, I mean, walking, I'm pretty good with, but like stairs, you know, specifically, uh, declines, uh, those are like the two things I'm like, kind of like, you know, been struggling with, um, I need to get back to therapy first. Um, and, uh, I want to eventually get through with therapy first before I even start that just so that like, not that I, not to say I can't like do that like now, like, uh, cause I've been, so I've been out because of like, you know, like the three surgeries I had in the yeah. last like uh, two months. Right. So um, I haven't been to therapy in a little while. So like, uh, but like, I, I'm, I'm expecting to like get back to walking um, because that's like kind of like riding a bike once you kind of learn how to do it with the prosthetics. Like, yeah. Uh, but like, yeah, I would like to get to like stairs and everything and stuff like that first. So that this way, like when I go to those people to talk to them, like, you know, I'm looking like I I'm showing, like I'm showing them like, you know, like what they, what is possible, what they can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to go in there, like, <laughs> like falling over and like, you know, like, Oh, like anything's possible. You know, like, you know, I want to be, I want to be the example. Um, so it's important for me to get those, like, uh, the, you know, to, you know, get those like foundations in, you know, with the stairs and everything else. So that'd be like, yo, like I can go, up, you know, I can go up these stairs, like being a double leg amputee above the knee, like, yeah. and like, you know, that's hard. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's hard. It's hard going up the stairs, um, being a double leg amputee above the knee. So like whatever their situation is, like, you know, I'm sure like whether if like they're missing like, you know, like the one leg uh, above the knee or like below the knee or two legs below the knee or whatever, like whatever their situation is. Like, I mean, fortunately and unfortunately, uh, you know, I have like like other than like, you know, the people who are like amputees, like from like the waist, you know what I'm saying? Like that's like, but they don't really have the option to walk, but you know, like, but like, so like my situation is like the worst that it could be, you know what I'm saying? To where you could still walk yeah. um, and try to do those things. So I'm like, yo, like I, I could do it. Like, so can you. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, and that's awesome, man. Yeah. That, that seems like that can definitely drive you. Like when you have that vision of you're, you're wanting to show people that like, just, you know, keeping that in mind, it's like, that's going to help you go through the physical therapy and be like, you know, I, I know what I'm doing this for type of thing. So that's, that's really cool. But yeah. I, I would challenge you too. you know, I'm a, I'm a trainer, I'm a coach. So I, I, I push everyone <laughs> in my life and everything, but I would challenge you by saying, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's still people even right now that you'd be an inspiration for, you know, it's not, um, you know, even just with your mindset, type of thing like you know not even just thinking about it physically because you're saying like you know you feel like you've got to be a certain in a certain spot physically to show these these people that anything's possible but I think you know there's probably people that are in a a tough mental place and just showing like look you can be positive like you you know kind of honing in on that and you know you you seem like you've got such a good mindset and a good attitude like that that alone can be an inspiration um, for the people in that situation so uh, yeah I would challenge you just by saying that man so uh, but yeah, other than that, that's, that's super, super inspirational and super motivating. Even for me, like, I, I feel like I'm getting pumped up just, <laughs> just talking. Man. You're going to get a workout in after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah, so what would you challenge the listeners? This is something we do on every episode um, of the Elevate Every Podcast, because we're all about taking action right away. It's not just about listening. You know, it's not just about you know, kind of just absorbing information. I'm all about like, you know, whenever the listeners are listening to this, like take something away and put it into action right away into your life. So what's, what's one thing that you'd like to challenge listeners to to take action on and implement in their life right away after listening to this? Yeah. Um, I would say that like, if there's anything like, you know, you've been thinking about doing for a while that, you know, you haven't like gone around to, or you're making excuses, like we were saying, or like, you know, like anything that like kind of scares you, you know, like that you want to do, but it kind of scares you, like, like, just do it, you know, yeah. like just, and there's no, like, you know, I, I hear all the time, like, even people like with fighting, you know, like, oh, like I want to fight, but I want to get in better shape. Like, no, nah, just, 
go to a gym. Like, you know, this is like even before they go to a gym, like a boxing gym or Muay Thai gym or anything like, they're like, yeah. Oh, I want to get in shape first. I'm like, no, 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 that's not really how it works. Like just go to the gym yeah. because you're never going to feel ready. You're never, you know what I'm saying? Like mentally, like in that like type of headspace, like you're never going to be ready. Just yeah. go, you know what I'm saying? Like go experience it. Like, so if there's anything that, you know, the listeners have been like, like, Oh man, I really want to do this, but like, I don't know, like what if, they don't accept me or like, you know, like whatever the thought yeah. is like pooping in their heads, um, yeah. just go out and do it. And I can almost guarantee you like 99% sure, like it's going to be whatever fears you have, like they're not true. They're not yeah. going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. We've got these irrational things that we, that are holding us back, right? Like you're saying these limiting beliefs um, that they're just not necessary. They're just, they're just limiting like what they are limiting beliefs and, and yeah, it's like we get stuck in paralysis of analysis, paralysis of analysis. We just start thinking our way into a hole sometimes, I feel like. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's just, you know, get those thoughts out of your way um, and, and just take action, right? Like you said, it's like you've got these things that you want to accomplish. So just be honest with yourself and, and just take that first step, right? And it doesn't need to even be like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, you know, a professional fighter like in a few months. Like <laughs> it's just taking that one step towards it you know, take that one small step towards doing it, but just don't, you know, don't, I feel like, you know, even listening to podcasts like, like this, that are inspirational, they're, they're having you take action. Like even this, you know, if you're listening to too many of things like this, it's just entertainment at that point, right? It's yeah. like, you need to take that first step. So, so I like that you said that. Um, awesome, man. Well, cool. Well, man, I really appreciate you being on here, John. This oh is, yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I appreciate it. This is an amazing conversation, man. Um, so where, where can people find you? Where can people? Um, pretty much, uh, I have a, I have an Instagram, uh, it's private, but I pretty much accept everybody. Uh, I don't even know why I have it private anymore. I just, <laughs> I think it was like years ago I said it, but, um, it's J E S P O six, two, five. You can find me on there. Um, it's a picture of me and my mom. Okay. Yeah. After like one of my fights. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Mama yeah. Esposito. Well, cool. Yeah. I'll have your, your Instagram in the, in the show notes and everything. Um, cool. but awesome, man. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, appreciate you listening. I know you got a lot of value after this. I, I feel like I can run through a wall right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pumped up, man. I, so I appreciate awesome. you guys. I hope, I hope you're fired up. Um, and like John said, you know, take that first step, stop, stop overthinking things. Um, you know, stop thinking about the negatives. I think that was a, kind of a reoccurring thing we talked about is just, you know, shift your mindset towards positive. Don't let those negative thoughts hold you back and just take that first step towards what you really want to accomplish you know life's short so take that first step guys um but <clears throat> other than that appreciate you um stay tuned subscribe for expert guests every every week and uh i'll see you guys in the next video but in the meantime elevate every damn day love you guys thanks john thank you peace elevate only obligation is to tell it straight